Hello, my name is Fred Murray, General Sales Manager of Cadillac. I consider it my distinct privilege to be with you today in your sales craft meeting. Number one, because this is the first occasion I've had to speak to most of you since my return to Detroit. And number two, because my brief introductory remarks accompany a film whose message is extremely vital in today's world of selling luxury automobiles. The film concerns itself with Cadillac quality, quality of product and quality of selling that product. Today, more than ever before, quality is the foundation of a continuing and profitable business. Certainly no one can disagree with the fact that Cadillac's past has been notably brilliant and there's certainly no doubt that its future will be equally rewarding and profitable. There are two important reasons for this. They both involve quality. First is Cadillac quality in production. I personally am mighty proud of our men and women working in the manufacturing plant. When I see those Cadillacs coming off the line, I know they've gone through the hands of the best craftsmen in the industry. And I also think this quality craftsmanship is equaled by quality salesmanship on your part. That is my second reason. As you know, your market is made up of highly discriminating people, people who desire pride of ownership in its highest degree. It almost goes without saying that a quality automobile presented with quality salesmanship is vital to the continued satisfaction of that desire. I've seen this film, which you gentlemen are about to see, and I feel it will not only furnish you with excellent documentation of Cadillac's quality in production, but will also serve as an inspiration for you to promote still finer quality in your selling efforts, the type of quality that will help Cadillac deserve forever its reputation as the standard of the world. In the past 60 years, more than 1,700 different makes of automobiles have been designed, produced, tested, sold, driven, and admired. And yet only a handful have been designed, produced, and sold in a way which has meant continued and lasting acceptance. Such an automobile is Cadillac, the standard of the world. What are the ingredients of this enviable reputation? To answer that question, we might look in the Cadillac foundry where white hot metal begins its transformation into precision parts. We might begin our search in engineering where ideas are born, tortured and matured into blueprints of tomorrow. We might look first in the Fleetwood plant where bodies are created and imbued with a wonderment of perfection reserved solely for Cadillac. Yes, we might start at any of these places for each is an ingredient of Cadillac quality. Yet there's another ingredient, infinitely more important. An ingredient that's neither metal, nor rubber, nor fabric. I'd left Detroit about 3.30 in the afternoon. And until the dining car opened, I just sat staring out the window thinking about all the things I had seen and heard during those two days. Sure, the plant tour had been tough on my poor old feet, but I wouldn't have missed it for the world. I remember thinking to myself, Bill Carey, you've sold a lot of Cadillacs in 15 years, and you've sold quality too, but never did you realize how much quality there was to sell. Yeah. I found out it takes more than great buildings filled with massive machinery to produce Cadillac quality. It takes thinking, planning, designing, the dedicated effort of thousands of skilled technicians and craftsmen working together, reaching for perfection. It takes the delicate touch of trained hands. It takes the fine judgment of skilled minds. And always, it takes curiosity probing, continually seeking a better way, a better method. Just as an example, take the very metal that is used for the bodies, fenders, engines, gears, and other parts. 
highly skilled lab technicians analyze samples of every steel and iron shipment that comes into Cadillac. They test it and test it again, making sure that the metal's characteristics are uniform and are of the highest quality. And even after the metal has been melted at the foundry, samples are taken again to make sure that it has precisely the right components and is flawless in its structure. Take the engine block, just one of the many important parts of an engine. Every block, bar none, is checked in detail. They look at the flat surfaces, the angles, the bores, the grooves and the passages, everything. And then, every day, trained craftsmen cut an engine block in half and give it critical tests. Here, interior dimensions that can't be visually checked on the finished block are measured against rigid standards. And even when all the parts come together to form a completed engine, it still isn't ready to go into the car. No, sir. Not until an engine expert gives the engine assembly, with transmission, a grueling test. Every engine is actually run on the test stand. It can't get into that final assembly line until it is checked out and given a final OK. And getting that smooth engine power back to the rear wheels quickly and quietly takes skill, too. In the rear axle matching booth, master craftsmen make each pair of gears absolutely perfect. By running the gears together, they check for any small vibrations or distortions. Then, they stop the gears and remove any burrs until they are perfectly mated one to another. And then, they are coated so they'll always be used together, never separated. The Cadillac body, too, is challenged by these standards of perfection. Take water tightness. Every body goes under tons of water forced at it from every angle. And there's an inspector in every body. Every weld, every joint, every seam, and every metal-to-metal -metal contact is completely inspected. If there is any water seeping into the body, Back it goes for reworking before it gets into that final assembly line. Of course, the fenders and hoods are made separately. And you ought to see those big presses that stamp them out. They're set for accuracy up to thousandths of an inch. And those pieces fit the rest of the car just like the glove on your hand. That's why Cadillac's lines are so perfect. This quality work even extends to the fabrics that are used to upholster Cadillacs. Into the fabrics have gone all the wonderful talents of the professional textile designer. Yet, every bolt of fabric is inspected for the tiniest flaws and samples are tested for wearing qualities. Skilled hands then cut and sew these fabrics into the upholstery combinations you have specified. And when those seats are installed and all of the interior finished, you can be sure that they not only look beautiful, but will last for the life of the car. Then there's the windshield. Even though we just look through it, they look at it, and very closely. Every windshield is thoroughly inspected before it's allowed to be fed into production. That's one reason why you'll never find any distortion in a Cadillac windshield. And did you know that Cadillac has the best quality and greatest thickness of chrome plating in the industry? And of course, every piece of chrome on the car is 100% inspected and buffed to give you that luxury appearance. That's quality you can easily see. The paint finish also gets this special kind of treatment. Before painting, the body, fenders, and hood are completely washed with an alkaline solution to make sure they are perfectly clean. Then, after bonderizing, they go through nine different coatings before the final finish is complete. And like the chrome, it receives both machine and hand buffing to bring out all the beautiful highlights in the lacquer. And all the time this is going on, paint and chrome test panels exactly duplicating the final finish on the car are being given special treatment in the testing lab. In the short period of seven days, they are exposed to all the conditions in type and degree which would normally be encountered in four or five years of actual driving. For example, they are given salt tests, heat tests, and chip tests.
And all of this just to be sure that Cadillac paint and chrome are the finest in the world. All of these things were interesting, but the most amazing part was where the body joins the frame. Not so much the operation itself, but the fact that each body and all its components has been earmarked since it was first started for one specific frame and all its component parts. Planning and organization is so efficient that parts coming from one end of the plant are produced and coded to perfectly match other parts coming from the opposite end of the plant. It was amazing. After assembly, they have a merry-go-round inspection line where each car goes round and round and receives a thorough inspection and adjustment before it leaves the line. Everything is inspected for top quality. And when those cars come off final assembly, they still have to complete a final inspection. Each car is given an extensive simulated road test by an expert. Before the car is released for delivery, it must measure up in all respects. Yes, in addition to giant buildings and massive machines, I saw thousands of craftsmen, technicians, experts, and workers all striving for perfection, each in his own way. And then they pointed out to me that in addition to all these people, there are more than 1,500 quality control inspectors whose responsibility it is to protect and ensure Cadillac's hard-won reputation. Just think, all those people dedicated to the goal that Cadillac will be a better car today than it was yesterday, and a better car tomorrow than it is today. And though you and I both know, Henry, that true perfection may never be reached, I do know that those people have firmly dedicated themselves to the tradition of delivering the finest of motor cars to thousands of people like yourself. You know, Henry, I'm excited about these things I saw in Detroit. To me, they spell quality that no other manufacturer can equal. I know that if you could have... Yes, Bill Carey, it does take more than great buildings and massive machinery to attain Cadillac quality. It takes the skill of this woman, analyzing. It takes the judgment of this man, checking. It takes the curiosity of this man, probing. And the pride in craftsmanship and the devotion to an ideal that is Cadillac. And it takes the knowledge of you, Bill Carey, selling. For it's your knowledge of Cadillac's inherent quality and your knowledge of quality selling techniques that assure lasting and continued product acceptance. You and every other salesman whose great responsibility and privilege it is to impress prospects with the inherent quality of Cadillac. For it is to this priceless human ingredient that Cadillac owes its recognition as the standard of the world. And it is this same priceless ingredient in selling that will carry Cadillac to new heights in the minds of discriminating car buyers.